Compressed natural gas is considered by many to be the fuel of the future. It's cheaper right now than gasoline or diesel. Burns cleaner can also be produced right here in Ohio. But a fire this morning in Boardman had some people raising questions about its safety. 27 First News reporter Lauren Wood explains. Talk about a close call. When this semi-truck pulled into the Giant Eagle parking lot on 224 this morning, it was already on fire. The driver had noticed something was wrong and pulled off the road. The Boardman fire chief said a matter of seconds saved his life. Saw a small fire underneath the truck, but he said it kind of exploded uh, after it stopped. This was not an easy fire to fight. In addition to sub-zero temperatures, the truck was powered by compressed natural gas. We cooled the outer areas, but we couldn't put it out completely because it had just filled up with the complete uh, load of compressed natural gas. So it was kind of dangerous. With all the buzz about natural gas lately, we wanted to find out what kind of an impact an incident like this would have. A bill at the state house right now would offer big incentives for buying or converting cars to run on CNG. We asked one of the bill's sponsors if this changes anything. There are going to be accidents. Things are going to happen, but they happen all the time with gas and diesel as well. So when you look at the safety record and compare the two, gas uh, CNG compared to gas and diesel, CNG is much safer. Representative Sean O'Brien says CNG has a higher ignition temperature, almost double that of traditional gasoline. That means it's harder to catch on fire. And if there is an accident, CNG dissipates into the air as opposed to pooling on the road. Plus, O'Brien says it's nothing new. We're not reinventing the wheel. I mean, this is something that we've been using for a long time, and this have, has a proven track record of safety. And CNG is moving forward in our area. One new filling station is planned for Gerard, and the fire chief says two more are on their way to Boardman, which means his firefighters will be learning more about how to handle situations like this. This is our first one that we've had this way. Uh, I will be following up with the uh, Compressed Natural Gas Association to uh, see what advice they have and what could be the cause. We're told that cause could take a while to determine. In Boardman, Lauren Wood, WKBN 27 First News.